I'm John Thompson, and I'm the Associate Director of IT Operations at Pearson International Airport in Toronto. Currently, we're working our way towards being the world's best airport. Today, IT plays a very pervasive role at Toronto Pearson, where IT is becoming part of the day-to-day -day operations in Pearson. For instance, you know, the baggage systems have lots of controls, and delivering people's bags to the airplane on time is very important. Or if you want to talk about de-icing, when you de-ice a plane, um, it's very important that we get the right amount of glycol that's being used to de-ice that plane. When we're checking passengers in, the, the passengers were able to pass through the airport efficiently. When we deal with U.S. Customs, were we able to give the U.S. Customs the information they needed to pass people through? A lot of people don't realize that Pearson Airport is the fourth largest point of entry into the United States. And we have a lot of U.S. Customs work that we have to do to make sure that we adhere to the U.S. systems. So IT plays a critical role in all of that. The previous tool, uh, I think a spreadsheet might have worked better. But that being said, the uh, Symphony Summit tool we looked at as an opportunity to be able to take us forward into the future. We want to be able to better predict and solve problems. The other thing that we've been really looking to do is bring down our mean time to repair. That's critical to be a world-class airport because we really don't want anything out. One of the things I did when we instituted Symphony Summit is I collected all the out-of-order signs in the airport so that no one could put an out-of-order sign on any of the kiosks in the building. I think it's a report card on how IT is doing. So we wanted to make sure that we did that and along with Summit, we were able to be achieve the best mean time to repair we've ever achieved since tracking statistics. You know, our, I would say that our MTTR in December of 2016 was somewhere around 2.4 hours. Today it's 1.39 hours, and that's on all tickets. And Symphony Summit has brought our biggest percentage drop since we instituted it in the last three months. Symphony Summit has allowed the business to open tickets quickly. The key here is, is when you have a, an issue with a service or something like that. You don't want it to be a hassle to open the ticket and it become this long, endearing process. With the improvements we made with the service desk, we were able to reduce the time on the phone and we were able to better articulate what was really wrong so we can get to the root cause quicker. So Summit has helped us in those ways. They've also helped us in a way of reporting to better articulate what's wrong and how we group all of these things together. Our solved on the first call this week was 81%. And that's because of Symphony Summit, the knowledge base, the speed of entry, and we haven't been able to hold, we haven't had to hold people on the phone for an hour waiting to solve their ticket. That, I think, is in itself is your report card. To me, a, a user wants to call in, have their issue fixed, and get off the phone. They're not really calling IT to see how they are and if we're having a good day and how much they love us. That's usually not why we get called. Well, interestingly enough, this month we had the best customer satisfaction score we've ever received. We also, we also raised our survey return rate by about, I'd say about 20% came back in on more surveys being completed. Because of the way Symphony presents the survey to the user, it's much easier to fill out and give us back feedback. So this month, our CSAT, I think, was the highest number we had ever had, and it was 96.5%. It's just easier to access. has a lot better search engines, search tools, uh, the way it works off the keywords. It's just better all around. Um, a lot of the things in our old system, we had to duplicate tickets. We'd have to open in one, then we'd have to close that and open another, and it was very difficult to call something in. Summit has cleared all of that up for us. And what we've done is, is with, with the ability to Summit to have a mobile app, when the technician finishes servicing the machine, he closes the ticket right on the mobile app and it, it reduces the time to go back to his office and have to enter in why it closed. A big improvement over what we had. And it has the right screens for the technical people and they really all gave us really positive feedback. 
Summit's very easy to navigate. It's very friendly. One of the things I loved was is they were able to put, um, we do a lot of changes at Pearson, and change is a big deal just because of the construction, the growth of the airport, all the things that go on in the day-to-day -day business. And I like to say that Pearson is a city within a city. So each day, 150,000 people arrive at that airport. And so when you look at that and you have all of the things that go on in a city, Summit is sitting in there being our tool to service that city. But one of the things that it really did was is it, it helped us just get through that noise faster, be able to articulate it back to us quicker and work through it. One of the things that Summit allowed us to do was we had a real struggle with onboarding employees because of the way our old ticketing system worked. It opened multiple tickets at the same time and we had a plan of hope that it got done. And an IT hope is not really a plan. So what we, what we decided to do was is when we put Summit in, we really worked on our workflow engine to really articulate what we needed for our onboarding. And since then, and this is, this is now um, uh, February, March, and April, we have not failed on an onboard uh, with 100 new onboards in the last three months. And Symphony has helped us achieve that just by it carrying out an instruction set very accurately. I'm very proud of the summit implementation at GTAA. It was started in October. It was a team of Summit, WePro, and my own staff that worked very hard to implement. And we delivered that project on time and on budget. And on the date we said we were going to launch with very minimal and defects. It's probably the best implementation of an ITSM tool I have ever used. I'm very proud of the way it works. I think we had two or three little corrections that had to be done, and since then it hasn't missed a beat, and it's delivering the value that we were expecting it to deliver. A quick installation, very agile, and done on time. Most people don't think about IT that much. They think about IT as much as they would the air conditioning and eating. If the air conditioning is not working and it's a very warm day, they're thinking about the air conditioner. That's kind of what IT is like. If IT is not working, they're thinking about IT. Otherwise, they take for granted that it should just work. Our job today is very different than it was back then because now everything is IT. It's pervasive, it's in everything. It's in the phones, it's in communications, it's in mobile apps, and we're just, it's growing exponentially. So tools like Symphony Summit are the tools of the future that actually grow with your business, that you can use it in different ways. I have a mobile workforce. I have a non-mobile workforce. I have people using um, knowledge bases. I have people who want to give a ticket by email, people who want to phone a ticket in, people who want to chat with us. And Symphony Summit allows for it all. It also allows for those ideas of major incidents. And so now that IT has become so important, a major incident becomes a big deal. We can shut the airport down. One of the interesting facts most people don't know is if Pearson has a problem, the rest of the country feels it because all of the airports work with Pearson. So we need to make sure that that world-class airport that we want to be is running like it should be. And I think I'm very happy that I got to influence the selection of Symphony Summit and that we were able to put that in because I think Symphony Summit is a world-class application working for a world-class airport. Interesting you should ask that because automation is the, th uh, is the thing we've been talking about the most lately, which is the machine's ability to, you know, fix a log file in a server, autocorrect itself, open the ticket in Summit, and close the ticket that it autocorrected. The future for me is, is having the machines open a ticket, close a ticket, but also understand when it opened and closed that ticket, what went wrong. And then it would open a problem ticket to say we need to do future work, look at it and self-correct itself. It's going to take time to get there, but that's the future. The future in an airport is people may walk through an airport and they'll be digitally scanned and the, we'll know who they are and they won't have to show their ID five times while they walk through all the security gates. That's kind of what IT needs to be. It needs to be... It needs to know what we're running, where it is, how, it work, how it's working, what went wrong and it fixed itself and then told us what it fixed. And I think that's the future of where we need to get to. Yes, 
we think that artificial intelligence and self-healing will be the future of IT. I don't think that you're going to see a lot of heroes running down to the server room saying, I fixed it. That will be the uh, Symphony Summit technology. Well, interesting, you should ask that. One of the uh, things I can tell you about is baggage, because it's near and dear to my heart. But when a baggage system misbehaves or it breaks or there's an IT problem with baggage, every 10 minutes we're processing 400 bags. So let's just say that it takes me 20 minutes to assemble the team, to put the major incident together, to get everybody on the phone to start talking about the problem. I already have 800 bags on the floor. That's 800 people who can't get their bag to the plane and to their destination. And they're not really that happy with me at that point. And they don't really care about a lot of that. What we need to do in IT is to turn our IT into solving problems in minutes, not hours. So a mean time to repair should be 10 minutes, should be five minutes. How do I get there and quickly? And that's why I think about artificial intelligence, uh, automated automation, what Symphony Summit has been doing with uh, NFC chips for us. Those are the things that are going get to our, get our tickets down to minutes, not hours. And I'm excited about that because that's what a world-class airport needs to be. One of the things you have to think about also in IT when we have a problem, if, if I go back to the baggage instead of the bag, now that these 400 bags are on the floor in Pearson, I have to now get those bags, or the airline does, and us, have to get those bags to where those people have flown to. Now that might be a flight behind, they may be on cruise ships, and we gotta fly it to a remote location on a cruise ship to get them their bag, all of it. And that amounts to many th hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, and that's where IT really has an impact. And it's those amounts of money and affecting people's lives that really matter in IT. IT is uh, very pervasive within the airport industry now because of the nature of the business. So, you know, you have IT running baggage, you have IT running all the information screens, you have IT running the code generation plants, you have IT running the de-icing facilities, you have many switches, we've got lots of customers. One of the interesting things, we're a very large landlord. And the landlord is all those restaurants and they all have ports and they all have IT equipment. And we have about 40,000 ports we maintain throughout the airport for different businesses and for our own. On top of that, we have monitoring where we're monitoring baggage systems where we have to have a physical person actually monitor the baggage system. And we've spent a lot of money this year, about $750,000 to just have people monitor the baggage system. And that's to look to see when the problem happens so that we can fix it in minutes. IT is so important to the operation today that it no longer can go without it for any length of time. Where years ago, perhaps you could run without a computer, you could do things manually. That's not the way of today's world. You do need the computer there to assist you.